earlier on we saw Kate playing Cupid to Corbin and Bounty, the emus. Now, they didn't hit it off first time, but Gemma the Keeper, never one to give up, set up a second date. Come on, big birds! These are the unlikely two. So this is Bounty, and here's Corbin. And as you can see, no squabbling at the moment. It's a very strange job being an emu love guru. I like it though. Um, they... <laughs> my finger. Stupid! Ouch! But a bird in the hand is better than two in the bush though, Gemma. This is progress. But Bourbon and Bounty's differing demeanours don't make for an easy coupling. She was hand-reared, so prefers humans to emus. Lovely while he wants to skip small talk and get straight to business. Bounty hasn't got that, you know, first date thing going on. He just wants to, to get things done and moving quickly, and that's just not the way to do it. Don't worry, B. I'd say he needs to grow up and just sort his, sort his life out. Gemma wants to bring them closer together in a cosy bath for two. Let's walk into the pond. What, Bounty? Come on, you Having a bath together is, um, it just gets them really close to each other without Bounty then trying to fight with her or trying to jump on her back. Very, very normal for emus to have baths. You wouldn't think it, but they are very good swimmers. Come on, emus! Come on, Bobon! That normally gets them in the mood. But Gemma's skinny plan is leaving the emus cold. Don't know what their issue is. So for the emu love guru, it's back to the drawing board for one last time. In the dating world, sometimes it just just doesn't work out on certain days. But we will try again. Come on, emus! While it's the last chance saloon for these two would-be lovers, Jean's pity.